Hi everybody and welcome to my channel and today I wanted to share my summer bracelet designs with you on the snake chain bracelet. So of course every bracelet can be worn year round but some I consider a little bit more seasonal. So I won't go over all of the names with you but if you are interested in a particular charm just leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. This first design features the wavy dark blue ocean Murano and it is still available with Pandora and I fell hard for these Muranos when they were first released about two summers ago. So let's start on this end over here and we do have some retired and some still currently available charms. The safety chain is retired, I believe it's called the raindrop and then I've got a two-tone charm and it's got that beautiful gold sea star right there. Next to it, I have this retired fish, and look how beautiful his eyes are, the CZ eyes and the movable tail. And the CZ eyes blend in perfectly with these Muranos. These are probably my top five favorite Muranos. I really like how the dark blue base makes that teal foil look, kind of contrast against it. it is just gorgeous. And then I have this little fish here, and he is so cute. He's like one of the very old retired fish charm. He's got some nice oxidized details, and yeah, I really like this fish. And then we have one of the Cabochon Kiss Spacers, and this one is in the blue topaz, and it's so pretty. Now this turtle is still available with Pandora, and he is so sweet. I love how there's a little bit of difference. Some of the glass is dark blue, some is a little bit more teal turquoise. Mine's not really picking it up. I've got a little hint of turquoise on one side and dark blue on the other. So stunning charm. If you love blue, you love summer um, themed bracelets, highly recommend this charm. And then the clips I used are the star clips and I just liked them on this bracelet. I thought they suited it really well. And then I've got my two favorite of the Ocean Blue Muranos in the center. These are a little bit wider. I really like that uh, turquoise feature in them. And then I've got another one with that beautiful color of CZ. And I managed to find this charm pre-loved and I was so happy when I did. And then I have the little fish dangled. This one is still available with Pandora. It's super cute. Love all the colors of enamel that they used on it. And then the happy crab, and he is so happy because he has a little bit of gold, a little gold pearl. And now here is the new charm that was released this summer, and it's the octopus, and it is a really good match to the turtle. So if you have the one, you're gonna love the other because they look perfect together on a bracelet. And then let's see what else is new. This is the long retired dolphin charm. He's just kind of wrapped around. And then I've got this little pendant and such a sweet pendant. It hardly lost it in Pandora's inventory. It was released and then I think retired like six months later, which I don't understand at all. It's really nicely detailed with some oxidization, a little bit of like that raised texture. And then the back is just like that. So. This is the first design that I want to share, my first summer design. My next summer design uses some Pandora shine, but I don't think they call it shine anymore. I think they just call it 14 karat gold plated, uh, but it uses the um, plated gold and some silver. And I've got a little bit of white on here and I love this design. I'm gonna be keeping it even though I have another bracelet that's really similar and I'll show that one next. So just to quickly show you these charms, I've got the dragonfly. This little daisy spacer is still available. And then I've got the bee in Pandora Shine. And then I've got another little dragonfly with CZs over here. Do you see the flower detail? This one is a beautiful open work charm. This one here is the little bee double disc. And the top of the bail, I really like the script that Pandora used. It's very different. It says, we belong together. And then you've got the B with a little bit of black enamel and then a B with also black enamel underneath. And I think this is really sweet. I like the honeycomb detail. And Riri Baby just picked this one up off of Rue La La. So if you can find this one, you will be thrilled with it. 
Um, the clips on here are the Open Work Floral Lace Clips, I believe, and Pandora did a fantastic job on these. They're chunky clips. I really like them. They're different. And then I've got my first Pandora Shine uh, charms on here. I've got the Rays of Sunshine, I believe it was called, and then the Honeycomb. And the reason why I went with these ones for my first Pandora Shine pieces or plated pieces was because of all the enamel work. Um, I was thinking to myself that if the shine wore off, I've got all the enamel that will be forever. So I since have not been too scared of the shine and my shine is wearing really well for me. But yeah, that enamel work is just amazing on both of these. And then this one here is one of the uh, white Muranos with the shine core. And then I've got a locket. I love the whole petite lockets. And Pandora's retired this whole concept, but I absolutely fell hard for it. And I love changing out the little petites that are inside these lockets. It's just such a nice concept of changing it up for whatever your design is. And then next I have this cute little dangle and it says, you are my sunshine. And it's just a smooth disc on top and the cutouts to kind of reflect like a sun or a sunflower. You can see my camera reflected there and then the back is smooth. This little bee is so sweet. It says be mine and that little dangle and the wings, it balances perfectly on a bracelet. It doesn't flip around and she is super sweet. I love her little eyelashes. And then I've got the white orchid. I believe it was just called that and then a silicone line clip. So this is the Pandora Shine and white design. And now I'll quickly show the other Pandora Shine or plated um, design with you. This is actually my first design that I created using Pandora Shine and I alternated it with silver pieces. One thing about this plated gold and the Pandora Shine is it's not a casual bracelet. Like I don't reach for this when I'm just wearing shorts and a t-shirt. It's a little bit more dressy, so it doesn't get worn quite as often as some of my more casual designs. But this was the very first design that I created um, using Pandora Shine, and it has worn for me fantastic. I have no regrets with any of these pieces. This is like a really happy bracelet for me. And then I've got this open work B over here. And Riri Baby also just purchased this one. and. Yeah, we both agree that the other bee should have had some black enamel as well. I do have the safety chain on this and it's kind of like a little bubble safety chain. I thought it suited this bracelet. This is the Grains Heart. I think Pandora just retired this one. It's, it's, it's a stunning open heart design. I love all the texture on it. Um, these Muranos are beautiful. I love the golden shade of glass that was used and the sparkle at the base. This isn't my favorite one. I'll show you the favorite. I always put my favorite in the center of the bracelet. Um, this is the Idlewise. Idlewise? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's an old Pandora charm and they haven't done too many like this. It actually reminds me of Troll Beads. Now these Pandora Shine dangles are everything. We've got the grains and beautiful CZs there and a really interesting bale. Can you see how the bale is like straw? And then this little scarecrow love guard. Oh my goodness. Okay. His little feet move. He's got little hearts at the base of his feet. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. One of my favorite charms. Um, yeah. So I like the sun and the beehive so much. I did get two of them. No regrets. <laughs> This Murano here is my favorite. It's got lots of nice sparkly bits and yeah, I just really like the look of it. Um, I used a spacer just for balance because I have a bale of the Scarecrow, so I wanted something to balance that on the other side of the Murano. And on this side here, um, this is another old Pandora charm. It's a rose and it's got a nice champagne color CZ in the center. It's a chunky charm as well. This is a, a grains charm that was released the same time as this heart over here. And then I've got the silicone line clip and the match is on the other bracelet. The last summer bracelet I want to share is this teal bracelet. It's a little bit multicolored, but primarily teal. This was my very first summer design and I've tweaked it along the way as I found charms to kind of replace into it. But I'm super thrilled with how this one looks. 
So I'll just show you some of the charms on here. Probably most of these are retired. Um, another one of this raindrop safety chain and the other twilight kiss spacer. Another one of this fish. I love anything to do with sea life, fish, ocean. I just gravitate towards nature so much. So I love this little fish and the little expression. I do not have the Russian fish in my collection. I would love to find that one one day. There was one available on Poshmark, but I thought she was asking too much money. And I was a little bit hesitant because it didn't have that hallmark behind the crown that Riri Baby showed in one of her videos. So yeah, I passed on that one, but hopefully one will come my way one day. Um, then I've got this music note charm and it's a nice size. This Murano right here, okay, beautiful Murano. It's the tropical sea glass Murano and it's got multi-colors in there. So you've got some green, some teal, purple, white, like amazing Murano. Not my favorite one, it's at the end of the bracelet. This Little Mermaid is long retired. Look at the details, the flowing hair over the back of her tail. Like, look at that beautiful vintage Pandora. Just gorgeous. And then I've got the sea breeze um, pendant, or maybe it was just a dangle charm, but that blue topaz just sparkles on this bracelet. These are the cosmic clips, and this is the purple. Uh, they also came out in clear, and I can't remember what other colors, but they were very expensive for their time. Now the center of the bracelet probably has my favorite Muranos on here. They're just a little bit more intense in color. You see what I mean? Just a little brighter, a little less of the white background. And then I have this teal CZ charm and it is stunning. I don't usually go for like all the CZs like this, but this one is just the most perfect shade and it really ties in this little parrot really well. This one is retired um, and Pandora recently released a new parrot. I kind of like the old one a little bit better so I don't think I'll be getting the new one but yeah just a beautiful parrot and it's full of CC's as well you can see his little feet on the branch and the way he's kind of looking over his shoulder like that really pretty um, this one here has been on Rila Lawn 50% off sales for a while it's, I think it's just called the ocean life charm and I like how there's a pattern on both sides the seaweed the seashell the enamel on the fish, and then lots of CZs on the side. And then we come to this little seahorse, and it has a beautiful shade of turquoise or teal, and then it uses some silver enamel to kind of highlight the details there. Another one of the dolphin charms. I think I found both of mine pre-loved. And then another one of these beautiful Muranos, and then the pineapple, and I did pick up another one of the pendants because they were in the 50% off sale. And then this beautiful blue vines. I thought the color really tied in well with all the other charms. And another bracelet that I wear year round is this beautiful Pandora rose and it's got some light pink charms and it just really ties in really nicely together and it's so soft and pretty. And I like this one in summertime as well. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this video with my summer bracelets using the snake chain. And next up, I've got my leather bracelet designs for this summer. So please subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you here at my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.